Billy, this rock, when it broke off the rest of the rocks, looked like this. And after a few thousand years, it looked like this. Do you know what makes rocks rounded like that? You've seen rocks rounded, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. What makes them round? The wind, the weather, mm -hmm. nature. In nature. Well, actually, as a matter of fact, most of the time, it's water that carries sand. And as the water flows by, the little grains of sand wear this away and wear it away and wear it away until all the edges are rounded. Mm. Well, today, I'm going to introduce you to the science of lapidary. Do you know what a lapidary is? No, I don't. Well, he's a specialist, or she is a specialist in working with stones mm -hmm. and gems and so. In fact, what you do is you go out and you find rocks like these. I see they're all sharp. And... Yeah, they have sharp edges and all that sort of stuff. Well, what you're going to do is put them into a uh, little container like this and condense what took nature a couple of thousand years. You're going to do it in a couple of weeks. So take those rough stones and put them in this little container. You add some water, just like in, in nature. Put in some more. Okay. Now you've got to do something that takes the place of the sand that's in the water. You see that? Grit? Yeah, you see that grit? Look, isn't it beautiful how it shines? Yeah. Well, that's very, very hard material that's going to take off those edges. So put in some of that. Is that it? Okay, that's good enough for now, anyway. Okay. Now we put the top on so it's nice and watertight. Oh, I get it. What? You put that, you put this on that. And then what? And it turns. Yes. You can see why they, that's called a rock tumbler. Hmm because it's going to tumble the rocks over and over. And wh how are they going to get smooth? By this grit. Right, that grit, that's right. That's the first stage. As is soon as I get it on here, I'll show you. Okay, here we go. Is this what happens to the rocks in the second stage? Mm-hmm. First of all, let's nice get the first smooth. stage started. Okay. There we go. Now, what's going on inside there? They're tumbling around in the water, and the grit is taking off the sharp edges. Yes. Okay, then after a while, they begin to look like this. All nice and smooth. Yes, they're all nice and smooth. Then you take the, take the water out after three, four, five days. Yeah. Take the water out, wash it out good to get rid of all of this big grit. Then you put in this grit. It's even finer. Yes. Then you do that for a couple of days, and then wash it all out, and then you put in this grit. It looks like volcanic ash. Yeah, real powdery. Mm. Then finally, you put in, wash it all out again, and put in this real, real powdery stuff. And here's what you finally end up with. Look. Oh, nice shiny rocks. Yeah, aren't they nice and shiny? Then, of course, after you've got them looking like this, you can go to the hobby shop. You buy various kinds of gold-looking things to use them up. For example, here is a special kind of rock that uh, started out looking something like those, but it has this orange and, or yellowish and brown thing. It's called a cat's eye. And they turn out very nice, don't they? Yeah, they are. Okay, then what you do is after you've got the, the gold thing, you mount it on it like that, and you have a keychain. It's a very nice keychain. Yeah. Would you like to keep that? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Now, while it took nature a couple of thousand years to make rocks like this into rocks like this, in just a couple of weeks, with this thing turning in your basement or your, or your garage, you can have rocks that started out looking like that, eventually became looking like that, and finally end up looking like that. <laughs>